All right, folks, we've come to it. The last video. We're taking a look at how you get a grade in the course, because that's really all that matters, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so there are 15 multiple choice question, uh, multiple choice quizzes. Um, one over every chapter, although chapter eight and nine, I do combine into one quiz. Uh, those are 40 minutes each. Uh, and typically they have 15 questions on them. Then you've got a unit exam for each unit and there's four units. Those are essay exams. They're open book, open note, no time limit. Uh, so there's four of them that's worth 120 points. And then a discussion board points, 225 points. So if you broke it down, uh, it's, let me actually do the math, but it's about 60% is on quizzes and exams, right? So 225, 120, 345, 570, whoops. Yeah, 60.5% is essays, essay exams and quizzes. And then the other 40% is uh, your weekly discussions. So don't skip the discussions because you can tank your grade and uh, end up with a D or F. Uh, and those I grade uh, purely on whether or not you complete it. You do need to cite your sources and meet the minimum requirements, but, uh, you know, don't muck those up. Those are the guaranteed points if you just do your homework, okay? I do a typical grade scale, nothing shocking there. I do round up. So if you have like an 89.5, automatically round up to a 90. And then sometimes I'll even round up like an 89.3 if I see that you turned in all your homework, you did, you know, you did everything, you didn't do extra skips or anything like that, and you were on time, then occasionally I do round up even that, right? So the tricky part of the class is the online discussions. Um, you know, I've tried different, lots of different models in terms of due dates, but I have found what works best is to leave every discussion open for two weeks, except for in the last week, the last week's discussions are only open for a week because it's the last week. All right. Um, so in the first week, your answers or posts are due. And then in the second week, your replies are due. But in the second week, a new set of discussions open. So they overlap, right? You get the new discussions, but you're working on last week replies. You should get that, right? Monday morning are when uh, the new uh, modules and new discussions open uh, and discussions are due on Sunday. There is an exception to that. Again, in the last week, the discussions are due on Saturday because I'd made the essay exam due on Sunday because I got to get grades into the college and I need some time to actually grade your stuff, okay? So on the discussion boards, there were 15 points a piece, except for discussion eight on chapter 12 is worth 30 points because it's a big one. Uh, it's a lot of material. Uh, to receive a max credit, the full 15 points, you have to answer the questions completely, cite your sources, and meet the minimum word requirement. And it's a minimum total word requirement, not a word requirement per discussion. So 500 words total. You must cite the book and lecture. You got to tell me the page number you found the information on. You have to crack open that bo book or crack it open online. I don't care, but you got to use it. So cite your sources, cite your sources. Um, I don't need a full works cited page. All I need is a little in-text citation with the author's name and the page number or, uh, you know, Mendez Lecture 2. That works fine as well. Um, there is a total of 255 discussion points that are offered. You need 225. So that's that 30 flex points. It's essentially you can skip up to two discussions of your choosing. Or if you opt to skip the 30 point discussion on chapter 12, that's the whole shebang. You can only skip one. So your choice. On the reply posts, you got to do two replies to either something I post or your fellow students. And it needs to be a minimum of 200 words per reply. And I cannot stress this enough. These are not peer reviews. You are not correcting their grammar. You are not giving them a high five because their discussion post is well worded. This is not an English class. This is a political discussion. So you need to incorporate your opinion, extra different perspective, additional material, uh, you got to add to the discussion. Now, if you want to do that and give them a high five, fine. I'm all good with that. It's nice to support one another. But again, it's a discussion on course material. 
not an evaluation of their post, okay? So two reply posts, 200 words each, that's 400 words total for six points. Um, I did some, uh, just, you know, what your discussion post should and should not do um, are listed under there for some helpful helps, helpful tips. Gosh, I can't talk. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, so take a look at that. And then if you have any other questions, again, feel free to reach out, ask me, text me, email me, call me. I don't care, right? But that is uh, the grade breakdown for the course. Uh, I do offer extra credit, 20 points max, and it'll be kind of throughout the course here and there, I'll offer an opportunity for extra credit. One last actual point. If you don't skip any discussions at all, what happens is at the end of the term, I mark the last two discussions as excused, that means skipped, and I move the points for those last two discussions into the extra credit column up to 20 points. So that is one way to get extra credit in the course is just not to skip any discussions, okay? But they will still be marked as excused because I have to get the grade total point to match the 570. All right, folks, hopefully that wasn't too overwhelming and clear and you can understand it. If not, again, reach out to me. That's it for the orientation videos. Next up is your introduction post. Uh, little note on that one. All you got to do is post. You don't have to reply to anybody. It's not worth any points. It just keeps you in the course and lets me know that you read the syllabus. All right. And then when you're done with the introduction post, you're going to move on to chapter one and chapter two, module one and two. Uh, and get the quizzes and the homework, discussion homework done.